content pack, a bunch of new service updates, DAX to report builder, and more that's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're gonna do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Got in a Cube. And this week, I'm actually in Seattle for some Docker training. So instead of my normal cube, you get to see what's behind me. It's a little nicer, huh? So I wanna recap what happened since Christmas. I haven't had an information roundup in a while, and so I just wanna go over some things that I saw during the last two weeks or so. So let's get started. First up is a new content pack. This is for lithium. So if you're using lithium to combine information from your brand with your customers, go ahead and check out this content pack. It'll help you with a curated dashboard, report and data sets that you can use to get up and running quickly. Next up is a service update for Power BI itself. We went a little dark in terms of putting out blog posts to tell you what was coming up. So this blog post had a lot of items that were in there over the Christmas break and into the new year. To start off, the ability to export data from either tiles or report visuals is now available in the service. So if you want to export that to CSV, go and take a look at that feature. I've heard a lot of buzz on it and a lot of people are excited about it. Another item is to include widgets on your dashboard. This includes images and text box. Also the ability to print your dashboard and to print report pages. You can connect to files in SharePoint Online now that are on the root site. That'll get improved as we go further. You can now pin Excel charts to your dashboard. And in terms of localization and international support, Power BI is now available in Brazil. And also we've added abilities for Hebrew and Arabic in terms of the ability to read left to right. So if you're using Hebrew and Arabic, that's a beta feature. So go and check that out and provide some feedback and let us know if it's working great. Next on the list is a blog post by Wolfgang Strasser, where he takes a look at an item I mentioned on the service update with regards to exporting data from either a dashboard tile or a report visualization. He just takes a quick look and shows you a little more about how that actually works. So if you're interested in how to do it and you're not quite sure, go and check out this blog post. Next on my list is a blog post by Marco Russo, where he takes a look at how you can use DAX in Report Builder. He talks about the ability to switch over to the OLEDB provider instead of analysis services, set up your connection string, and then input your DAX query into the text editor, and you'll be up and running. You can use other tools to actually craft the DAX query itself if you're not sure how to write it. DAX Studio, DAX Studio along with Management Studio and other tools are great ways to do that. So if you're using reporting services and Report Builder, and you still want to use DAX queries, go and check this out. Last on my list is a blog post by Rui Romano, where he takes a look at how to analyze trace logs from Power BI Desktop. And the way that he goes about doing it is actually using Power BI Desktop itself to analyze the trace log of Power BI Desktop. Pretty ingenious, huh? And so he walks through how he did that and shares that with you. So if you've ever looked at a trace log for Power BI Desktop and you're not quite sure how, what to do with it, Check out this blog post and see if Power BI Desktop can actually help you with analyzing data. Okay, that's all I've got for this week. Hopefully you found those as interesting as I did. I'd love to hear your feedback. Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know what you thought. Are you excited about any items that I talked about? Are you using export data for your tiles? Or are you connecting to files on SharePoint Online or using DAX and Report Builder at all? I'd love to hear that. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday I take a look at the last week and find items and do a roundup for you. Every Tuesday I take a look at a technical item where I look at how something works, how it can benefit you, either from a scenario perspective or troubleshooting or just how something works. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do in your organization to help gain better insights. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.